just how have these guys come together so far through offseason workouts, through summer workouts, and just where do you feel like these guys are at? Uh, it's been good. We've been coming together a lot um, vocally on the field. Our communication has been well. Um, everybody's seeming to become more tuned to everything, so I think it will be pretty good. You know, you were one of those top playmakers for this Lures team on both sides of the ball. Uh, Michael brought it up, but, you know, there's still an ongoing quarterback battle. Some other guys have got to step up. But how are you trying to shoulder the load, especially early on this season? Um, with the battles, I mean, I don't show favorites. I push everybody the same. Um, even knowing one is my brother, one is a friend, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. Simple enough, ma'am. Who are some guys that we should be paying attention to on this Lures team this season? Um... I mean, I don't want to be biased, but my little bro, Justin White, he's a little receiver coming up. Uh, and then Jam Janar Moore, another receiver in DB. He should be pretty good this year. Good deal, man. Uh, just what do you guys need to do these next few weeks before week one against Leo to make sure you are ready to play some winning football? Um, we got a young team, so really just everybody needs to get in the playbook and work, memorize everything, come together. Now, knowing all season, you know, this Lures team always has a, a target on their back, just knowing your pedigree of success. But now that you come off that state championship, you're trying to make that jump into Class 3A now. How do you guys stay engaged and locked in knowing you were getting every team's best shot this year? Um, we stay humble. Really, we just act like it never happened. And it pushes us more to be the best as we can, really.